Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my beef stew. Now beef stew or any stew at all is one of the things that we have to have in a Nigerian home. You don't have food, you don't have soup, you don't have anything, you must have stew at home. Beef stew, chicken stew, fish stew, any kind of stew, you just have to have it at home. And this recipe is one that you can adapt. So I'm using beef, but you can use chicken, you can use fried fish, you can use goat meat, you can use assorted meat, you can use whatever you want. It's just the basic stew recipe that I'm going to share with you and you can use whatever kind of meat you have available at home. For this beef stew, we're going to need some beef or you can use fish or chicken, whatever you want to use is fine or good meat or assorted meats. I'm going to use beef, so we need some beef. We need some tomatoes, some tatashi, some fresh pepper, and some onions that I haven't blended because I want to show you the ratio. And we need some cooking oil, some chopped onions, some chopped garlic, some curry powder, some salt, and some maggi cubes. This is all I need to um, season the meat and make the stew as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the meat. Now I know different people have different ways of cooking their meats. What's important for me is to just get the seasoning and the flavors in. Um, once your meat tastes really good, then your stew will come out nice. So for me, I put the meat in the pot first. I add the chopped onions, a lot of onions. This helps to um, tenderize the meat, to get it soft. I use garlic also. I use some curry powder. I'm going to use three stock cubes for this and a little bit of salt. So I don't start cooking my beef with any water at all. I start on low heat and allow the meat to release its own juices first. So I start this way and then I'll put it on fire. Now. So this is the um, tomato and tatashe that I'm going to blend to make this stew and this is the ratio. For this stew, I'm using a lot more tomato than tatashe. So we have all of this tomato and just eight um, medium sized tatashe and a few fresh pepper. Now this pepper will depend on your taste. If you like a lot of pepper, you use more. If you don't, you reduce it. This is as much as I can take. So this is all I'm using and I'm using two medium sized onions. I'm going to blend this now and then pour it in a pot to cook until all the water dries out. Okay, now that my meat is fried and my tomato has dried up, it's now time to make the stew. I'm going to use some of the oil I used for frying the meat to make the stew. When the oil is hot, I'm going to add in the chopped onions. Fry this for about one minute. In this oil, I'm going to add the curry powder, one stock cube and some dried thyme. Next, I'll add this tomato mix because it's a fried stew I needed for the tomato to be um, dry so I cooked it until almost all of the water came out so that the stew starts to fry once the tomato hits the oil I'm going to fry this now for about five to seven minutes to stir the stew every few minutes so that it doesn't burn next I'm going to add this uh, beef stock and now I'll cover the pot and let this cook for another five minutes It's been five minutes now that this has been cooking So I'm going to add the meat This is what it should look like the oil should come to the top the stew will be a bit thick um, if you like it this thick, you can leave it. If you don't, you can add a bit of the beef stock or some water. I'll cover the pot now for another two minutes and let the meat suck all the juices from the stew and then the stew is ready to serve. So guys, my beef stew is ready and I'm serving it with some rice. 
remember you can eat it with anything with yam with bread it's that type of stew that you can eat with anything and of course you can substitute the meat for chicken or fried fish or assorted meats or whatever you have at home and still use the same recipe i hope you've enjoyed watching my video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done that follow me on instagram if you're not following me on instagram by the way you're missing a lot i give out uh, meal inspiration dinner inspiration lunch inspiration also follow me on twitter and on facebook at the kitchen meals and i hope you've enjoyed watching this video give me a thumbs up if you've liked it leave me your questions and your comments in the comment section and i'll respond to them thank you guys for watching bye